please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video. Also click on that notification bell. Thank you. Hey folks, in this video, I'm going to cover CentOS versus CentOS Stream. A lot of people have this confusion and there are so many questions that are going around. What is CentOS Stream? Is CentOS going to die? Is there going to be any support for CentOS? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be very short and precise to answer this question. So the first thing is let's talk about a brief history of CentOS. Where it came from? CentOS is a community enterprise operating system, which means there are a bunch of volunteers that actually work together to make that operating system. So going back to the history in 2004, there's a guy named Greg Kurtzer. He actually took the code from Red Hat operating system because Red Hat operating system is an open source is available to public. So what he did, he took the source code and it actually put a different branding on that. And he called that new operating system as CentOS. And then a lot of people actually a lot of volunteers st started contributing toward that CentOS open source project. Then in 2014, Red Hat actually came back and acquired CentOS operating system community. And their code is like one to one. Everything that they have in Red Hat operating system, they have in CentOS. So before February 2021, the way it was a trickle down was from Fedora. Fedora is also another open source project by Red Hat. So they create this uh, this project, this um, source co code of the operating system. Then they push it down to Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system. And then they push it down to CentOS. Now, what's going to happen is after February 2021, it's going to change its uh, sequence, the way it streams. It's going to be Fedora. Then from Fedora, it's going to go straight to CentOS Stream. And then from a Stream, it's going to go to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So in other words, until CentOS 8, all updates will be pushed down from Red Hat 8 with CentOS stream the updates will be pushed down from centos to red hat that is why centos is now called the upstream instead of downstream okay so the bigger question is now is it worth learning centos operating system and the answer is absolutely you will need to support CentOS or Red Hat, doesn't really matter. The version that you will be supporting is four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are all identical. Red Hat and CentOS is identical, and so on. The Red CentOS stream is gonna be the same as Red Hat. Therefore, regardless whether Red Hat comes first or CentOS, you will need to learn Linux, and there is no best free Linux flavor than CentOS. If you want to learn more about Linux, check out my best-selling course on Linux at udemy.com or you could go straight to my website utclsolutions.com and you will find the exact same course there.